Today we are going to go pay our utilities and our cell phone bill. We also need to go to the pharmacy, which is perfect because we had a viewer ask us to do some video of the pharmacies here in the area. I'm standing outside Claro. Amelia is inside paying our bill. We've tried to set up automatic payments with our credit card at Claro several times, but for some reason it never works correctly. So we just come down here once a month and pay it in person. It's $17 a month for our mobile phone bill here in Ecuador. There is another company called Movie Star. Uh, but most of uh, the people we talked to recommended Claro, so that's why we went with them. And after we leave here, after Amelia pays our bill, we're going to head down to JEP and pay our utilities. Now, that we could also pay online if we had a JEP account, but since we don't, we just go pay it in person too. And you have to pay that with cash. They, they don't take credit cards there, so we're going to go do that next and then go down and tour a couple pharmacies. Still waiting. Still waiting. It actually hasn't been that long. I'm going into Jeff now to pay our utilities, which is the water, electric, and we pay, I think, $3 a month for a landline that just came with the house that we rent, so just as part of rent as far as I'm concerned. It's another thing we do pay our utilities in cash here. Um, I've heard that you can set up a Jeff account and pay some of these online, but we haven't tried that. If somebody knows, let us know. I'm standing outside of JEP waiting for Amelia. You can't use your phone or any electronics while you're in the banks here. They all have security guards. The security guard will come up and yell at you and tell you to put your phone away or leave. So I'm just standing outside under a shade tree next to this woman selling delicious looking cherry moyas and cherries. They have the most amazing dark cherries here. Oh my God, they're like candy. Success. All paid? All paid. So they're not going to shut off our electricity again? No. <laughs> We've had some issues figuring out when we're supposed to pay bills. Um, and they changed our due date and they changed the location where we could pay them. But luckily our landlord helped us through all of that. We only had our electricity shut off for, what, nine hours? Yeah. <laughs> that was embarrassing. <laughs> and the funny thing is we had just paid it that morning, but we didn't realize we had a short window. And somehow one month for, apparently didn't get paid when they made the bill switch, I don't know. Now we are heading over to the pharmacy right down the street to get JP's prescriptions. We decided to stop on the way home and get some bread from Tosta. We timed it perfectly, although that was an accident, and they had just pulled some fresh out of the oven. Yay! A yummy bread. I know. I'm hungry and I could not wait for a piece. We are back from running our errands and enjoying our delicious bread from Tosta. Sitting outside and enjoying the wonderful weather. I know, it's beautiful here today. It is. We, a viewer asked us to record the pharmacies, which we were happy to do so, since as I mentioned, we needed to go anyway. There are many different pharmacies out here. They're super easy to find. Um, they're, I think they're pretty similar to like a Walgreens or a Rite Aid. What do you mm, think, Jake? Yeah, they're very similar to like Walgreens, except a lot of the stuff is behind the counter. Yes things that you don't actually need a prescription for, but they still keep it behind the counter anyway. Just obviously to minimize theft. Yeah. Especially the little stores. Everything in the little pharmacies are behind the counter. So you have to know what you want because most of the people working there do not speak English. Mm -hmm. So the pharmacies are, the ones that we know of are Pharmasol, Med City, no, that was Fibeca, Fibeca, Pharmacias, Cruz Azul, which is Blue Cross in English. Yes, and I think... Is that it? There okay. may be more. There may There's be a more. lot of pharmacies and a lot of little ones, like the little one in our neighborhood, the Cruz Azul. It's really tiny. They Almost everything is behind the counter there. Yeah, but they're really helpful. So we've gone and gotten prescriptions there before, and they have had to order them, but they get them the same day, mm -hmm. usually. Usually the same day or the next day. But if you're in a hurry, I would definitely recommend going to a larger pharmacy, or if you actually do want to wander up and down some aisles. And see all the stuff. Yes, go to a larger pharmacy. The interesting thing, I mentioned prescriptions. JP, you want to? Oh, yeah. I've got my prescriptions here. This is Nucleo, and this is a drug that helps with the regeneration of nerve damage and the protective sheath that coats nerves. And this is not available in the United States, but it is available here and it doesn't even require a prescription. I've been taking this for a few months and I definitely think it's helping with my nerve damage from my spinal issues. Um, and I don't feel any side effects from it. So it, I feel better. I've got more feeling back in my 
hands and legs and feet and there's no side effects yeah and it's very affordable so a lot of the stuff here is really affordable um the doctors will write you a prescription so that you know what to get from the pharmacist but then we can go back and just buy them yeah, normally we just like show the them b the box. vitamins for example yeah, we got these b vitamins too my uh, neurologist here recommended i take these every day as well because that's also supposed to help with nerve damage so not everything is available over the counter. I think that they have changed their policy on antibiotics uh, and that you do need Hold a prescription on. for that. <laughs> Car alarms galore. It's nonstop here. Anyway, not everything is available over the counter. Some prescriptions... <laughs> it's never ending. Not everything is available over the counter. Certain things like antibiotics require a prescription now. I would assume opioids probably probably yeah you used to be able to buy antibiotics know. without a prescription you could just walk in and tell them you want some and they give them to you but because of the over over pres prescribing of antibiotics mm -hmm. and all of the uh, uh, antibiotic re antibiotic resistant bacteria or whatever now they're they require a prescription now thankfully Anything I was else? hungry. <laughs> Amelia's hungry. I'm hungry too. The bread right. is delicious. All right, so now you're going to go do yoga. Mm -hmm. I think I'll do my workout, and then we're going to do some cooking this afternoon. That's the plan. All right, see you soon. See you soon. I decided to make beet burgers because JP and I have not had them in ages. I think a year, year and a half maybe. And they sounded really delicious. The beets here are really good. And it's pretty quick and easy to make, although I had to review my notes a couple times because like I said, I haven't made them in a long time. So let's run through our ingredients. Okay, so I have two beets, which I have to grate. These are raw, I have peeled them. I have one cup of black beans that I have rinsed and drained, or drained and rinsed. I have two cups of cooked quinoa, one onion that I need to chop still, one teaspoon paprika, one teaspoon cumin, one half teaspoon mustard, one quarter teaspoon salt, it's kind of hard to see in there. I have three tablespoons minced garlic, and then I need to make a flax egg. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. And to do that, I'm going to grind up two tablespoons of flax. We use a coffee grinder to grind all of our seeds. We do actually do not use this to grind coffee, FYI. All right, so this is super simple. Just putting in my two tablespoons of flax seed, which is going to make us some flax meal. So I actually have a little bit more than two tablespoons once it's ground. You can buy ground flax meal, we just did not. So well, it's better if you grind it fresh. It is. Because you lose its, its nutritional value as it sits. So I am going to measure out the two tablespoons and the rest of this we can use for our breakfast tomorrow. And I'm just gonna give this a quick stir with my teeny tiny little fork. All right, and that just needs to sit and it will kind of turn into this jelly-like consistency, which will be our flax side. So we will set that aside. And then the next thing I need to do is grate these beets. So I need a cup of grated beets and i'm not exactly sure how much that's going to be so those are raw right yes raw peeled please make sure you peel them i don't think the peel of beets would taste very good i did slice these up so they will fit into our little tube here so we need a cup of grated beets. Boy, these look delicious, don't they? Wow, they're so red. I know. I think we're going to have plenty. We have extra quinoa because I made a little extra intentionally so we could have that for breakfast in the morning. And we're going to have a little bit of extra beet, grated beets, which is delicious in salads, which we'll also have tomorrow. I still need my food processor, so I didn't rinse it out. I did change the blades, so we're now using this one, not the shredded one. We're going to put in our grated beets, one cup, black beans. I think I'll go ahead and put our spices in so that I don't end up making a mess. Quinoa is going in here as well. This is going to be a very hearty burger, JP, and very pretty. And then lastly, we want to put our flax egg in. And in case you have not made one yet, you can see this is your end result. It's kind of gelatinous. I'm just going to pulse this until everything is blended. We don't want the things to be mushy. We want them still to be a little chunky. Yeah, I think this is good. Oh my gosh, it smells really good. I'm very excited to eat these. I'm going to set this aside for a moment, chop my onion, and I'm going to saute the onion and garlic in a little bit of veggie broth until the onions are translucent. All right, I've heated a quarter cup of veggie broth, and to that I'm going to add my three tablespoons of minced garlic. 
okay, that spoon's a little too big to fit in there. <laughs> I can keep trying, but it's just not gonna work. No. Nope. And, whoops, our onion. So in my on the website, we say to use ye a yellow onion, which I did not have. I think any onion will do. I agree. I love these red onions. I love white onions and I love yellow onions. They will all be delicious. But we can only use one, so hopefully it is. Okay, and like I mentioned before, I'm just going to saute these until they are translucent. And over here, oh, yeah. we're making some green beans to yeah. go with our beet burgers. While the onions are cook onions and garlic are cooking, I am going to transfer our beet mixture to a bowl because we are going to add in the onions and garlic along with two tablespoons of whole wheat flour to this mixture and then we are going to form them into patties. And then we're going to bake these. I should mention that. We are going to bake them in a 350 degree oven. Yeah, this looks really good. All right, I think our onion and garlic is looking good. So veggie lovers, it is dinner time for the dogs and they are right underneath our feet waiting to be fed. We're gonna have to wait a couple more minutes. Sorry, babies. Last step before we form these into patties is to add in two tablespoons of flour and I am using whole wheat flour. All right, now I just need to grab, grab our baking sheet and then I will um, make our patties. This should make six patties and you can see I'm just molding them. They're kind of fragile. Boy, they really look good, don't they? They sure do. I love the color. I'm glad I decided to use a red onion. Fate intervened. Um, <laughs> the nice thing, these are fragile. You don't have to flip these though. So we're going to bake these now for 30 to 40 minutes until they're nice and done and a little crispy. All right. Mmm. Wow, those look good. I know, yummy. they look really good, don't they? They smell good too. They do smell good. Ooh, this is quite hot. Dinner is ready. Oh, perfect. This looks delicious, JP. Well, it does. Last. Do you want lettuce and tomato? Yes, please. I'll give you two slices. Thank you. Well, you're very welcome. Well, wow, it's so red. I know. Let's pile that right wow, on top. Wow, look there. Looks I so know, good. so pretty. And then I'm going to do ketchup and mustard on mine. And then I'm going to eat. Oh. What kind of mustard? Well, I'm going to use regular yellow mustard. I know you like the spicy brown yeah. mustard. Any of your favorite condiments will do. Avocado would be really good with this too. Oh, it would be good. All right, let's Next eat. time, let's eat. That's all for today, veggie lovers. I hope you enjoyed our day in the life video, and I hope you found the pharmacy information helpful. I also hope that you give our beet burgers a try. Please remember to subscribe, ring that bell, so you get all the latest and greatest, and we will see you next time.